Bankrate releasing a new survey showing that nearly half of Americans expecting a tax refund will use it to save or pay off debt. For more on tax season and tips to manage that debt, joining us now is Bankrate senior industry analyst Ted Rossman. And Ted, before we get into the tips, I am just curious about your perspective on the consumer because we talk about this economic data all day, every day. We're not necessarily seeing this debt-ridden consumer that's no longer spending. So help me understand What's going on? Yeah, I do think the consumer's hanging in there better than expected. But I think it's also one of these all news is local kind of issues. Mm. You know, people say credit cards are like power tools. They can be really useful or dangerous. It's all about how you use them. And it's roughly half and half in the credit card space in terms of half are paying in full, they're avoiding interest, they're benefiting from rewards. The other half are stuck with debt at record high interest rates. The average is 20.75%. Consumer spending has been remarkably strong. I am starting to hear signals, though, that we're starting to reach a tipping point, maybe. You know, maybe this year there won't be as much travel. There won't be as much dining out. People are starting to rein in the budget a little bit. 20.75%. 20.75%. That is just an astonishing number. Um, that 50-50 proportion that you mentioned, how constant has that remained over time? More people are carrying debt now. Back in 2021, it was 39% who carried debt from month to month. Now it's 49. Another way to look at it, 58% of people with credit card debt have had it at least a year. Three years ago, that figure was 50%. So unfortunately, we're moving in the wrong direction. It has a lot to do with high inflation and high interest rates. Hmm. Is the uh, last question on this before we get to your input here, but I'm curious about the debt to income ratio. What has that looked like over the past couple of years? That's a silver lining. The household debt to income ratio is pretty low, historically speaking. I think that speaks to the strong job market, which is a very interesting disconnect in the economy now where The job market's quite good. Consumer sentiment is not so good. I think it's really because inflation is just eating up people's wage gains. But this is one thing that has kept people mostly on track. Now, credit card delinquencies have gone up quite a bit. They've doubled in the last two years. But they were artificially low during the pandemic, and banks don't seem overly alarmed. So it's a little bit of the best of times, worst of times in the credit card world. It it depends where you are on that spectrum, I would say. 